Right, in this example, we want to take a look at how we are going to use StatCrunch to perform a hypothesis test uh, using a proportion, a binomial variable. So in this example, we have a statement that an airline claims the no-show rate for passengers is less than 5%. So in a random sample of 420 randomly selected reservations, 19 were no-shows. So at a signif significance level of 0.10, test the airline's claim. All right, so conceptually, uh, before we can, absol uh, we can use a Z distribution, a standard normal distribution, we have to verify that the binomial variable can be approximated by a standard normal distribution. Uh, without going into the details here, right, one of my instructional videos discusses this. So we look at n times p and n times q, and both of those have to be greater than or equal to 5. So we can see in this example that we have calculated that they're both greater than or equal to 5, so then the standard distribution will approximate um, the binomial distribution. So within the verbiage of the problem, the claim is that the no-show rate is less than 5%. So our claim is that the proportion is less than 5%. So that claim falls into the alternative because there's no equality and the null is greater than or equal to. Well, you don't want to stop for a second. How do we know that this is binomial? How do we know that it's a proportion? Well, some students will say because of the percentage. You know, that's usually a good indicator. But the reason is it's binomial. So we either have a you know no-show passenger or we don't have a no-show passenger, right? We have a passenger that shows up. So we have a binomial variable that has two values. So that's what indicates that it's going to be a proportion. All right, so then we would uh, identify the level of significance, and in this problem we're told that's 0.10, and then we want to determine the critical value. Now, keep in mind in this case, we are looking at a left tail test here. So the alternative is less than, we have a left tail test, and if we were to look this up in the table, we would find the critical Z value of negative 1.282. Now, how would we do that using stack crunch? So if I bring up StatCrunch, I'm using the standard normal variable. So I'm going to go to calculator, and I'm going to pull up the normal calculator. I'll choose the standard option, and I'm looking in the left tail. So let me just make sure I'm less than. And remember, well, I'm looking for this Z value. So I'm going to leave that blank. And I had, it was 0.10 all in the left tail. So when I compute, there's a negative 1.28 that we see in the left tail. So there's our critical value. Right, and then the next thing, again by hand, would be recalculate our standardized test statistic. So we have the sample proportion minus the population proportion, and then we divide by the standard error of the binomial distribution, and that is PQ over N, square root of PQ over N. Now, for our sample proportion, the problem stated we had 19 out of 420, where uh, in our sample, let me come back up to this problem, right? So in a sample of 420 randomly selected reservations, 19 were no-shows. So that's our sample proportion of 0.045. So I plug all of that information in here. Here's my P, Q. These are the population values divided by N, and I crunch that and get negative 0.47. So again, that's going to fall, uh, that's going to not fall in the rejection region, and so we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. Now, again, finishing this problem off in StatCrunch, so we've already found the rejection region, and to f do the hypothesis test, we're going to choose the proportion stat. So we have a proportion test, we have one sample, and we have the summary. We don't have the actual data. So in this case, our number of successes was 19, our number of observations was 420, and then we had, it was 5%, so let me change that to 0.05, and then what did we have? It was less than for our alternative, correct? Yes, less than for the alternative. So I choose that. I like to do the visualization. I'm going to compute, and here's the statistics. Now remember with StatCrunch, it does not show me the critical value. So when we're doing the rejection region, it's not showing me this. We already use StatCrunch to calculate that. What StatCrunch does is gives me the p-value. So I can compare the p-value to the alpha, right? If p-value is less than alpha, we reject the null. If it's 
greater than the alpha we fail to reject. So we come back here and we can see our p-value of 0.3 is not less than 0.10. So then we fail to reject in that case. So this is how you would do a proportion test using StatCrunch.